Hello folks, I just thought I'd do a little quick lighting review. I've already reviewed this one, it's just a little um, ordinary bulb in there and a battery, a uh, AAA battery in that one. Uh, I just generally carry that one around all the time. As I say, I've done a review on this one earlier. It's not the brightest one, um, but uh, yeah, at times when you need a bit of light on something and um, no, it does the job sort of thing. It was in a very cheap little pack with a multi tool, so can't can't grumble really. Um, anyway, that's that one. As I say, it's not all that um, all that bright. Uh, the battery's a bit run down as well because I use it a fair bit, so I'll keep keep it with me. Um, so it's not actually. You can see the battery's having a bit of a. In fact, I'd better change the battery on that one. Anyway. <laughs> Good job I did this test, wouldn't it? Otherwise I'd be going around going, Oh, got me light. Oh, no, I haven't got me light. So that's why it's always useful to have a couple of lights with you. Now, then the cyber light, which is a windy up one, which I've done a review on that one as well. Wind up useful, of course, because you ain't got to worry about running out of battery. And anyway, so that's another one that obviously a bit bigger, a bit bulkier. So depends what you're doing as to whether I, I sort of kind of take that one along but um, anyway that's that one and that, that, that one by the way is an LED job with two you've got a lower sort of wide beam and then you've got the focus beam on the top bit there but uh, anyway I'll just finish off with these two little ends that's, that's another cyber light and it's uh, one AA battery sat in there, LED on that end, and it's just a twist to uh, get it the right way around. It's a twist to turn it on. Reasonably bright, I think. <laughs> so that'd do, wouldn't it? If you were stuck and you needed a bit of light on the subject, I think that'd do. Again, it's another little key ring. Right, so that's, you can bung it on your key ring or whatever. So you've always got it with you, and it's a nice little little light. I think it's I can't remember how light it is. I think it's something like 22 grams or something like. That. So it's very light anyway. Sort of thing that useful to have this time of year because you know you never know when you might need your light. And as so I put links in the sidebar as to a uh, um, bit more detail about them and kind of where I got them from so that people you know if they are interested so it depends on your usage but I always think well <coughs> it's alright having a nice big light like that but there are times when you're going somewhere you might be going out to visit some people or something like that and you might t forget to take that with you because it's a bit you know slightly bigger isn't it <laughs> so it's better to have something a little something that you can carry with you at all times because you never know you might say oh I'll be back before it gets dark you know something happens you're not back as soon as you you thought <coughs> you might <coughs> drop you know drop your keys we're trying to get in the door you can't can't find them you now switch your little old light on there sorted now no, I know some people have their light on their keys well this what I tend to do is I tend to have a carabiner you know round about loop and have it separate so if I lost the keys I haven't lost the light as well just a thought there anyway that's that that's the cyber light and it's um it's called a light star that one that's a single as I say a triple A battery in that one nice little bit of kit that and then <coughs> oh, and I think it actually if I get it on again no it's just a, yeah that's just a single you know, sort of setting hasn't got any focus or anything like that. Anyway, that's that one. And then <coughs> a little bit more up, 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 up on the size side of things. And this is a camo finish on this one. And it's a, a mini um, mag light. And this is one of these ones where if you and that, this is just you. This two AA batteries, but that's not an LED in there. That's just an ordinary bulb. Which has the advantage, if you want to use it as a candle, 
don't know if you can see that, you put that bit on the end there, stand him up like that, and you've got your little candle. So if you use camping, something like that, Andy Harry, to have that, isn't it? Anyway, I'll put that bit back on the top. And of course, then you've got the, um, you've got a bit of, turn it off that way, or focus it down to a, sort of a spot. You can sort of kind of vary it. Yeah. So obviously it's a bit bigger, um, but again it depends what you, you know, what what sort of function you're using. That's got a belt loop on there, so I don't know if you can see that very well. I haven't got very good lighting on this. I need to put some extra lighting on that. Funny I was talking about lighting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see there. There we are. I'll put a bit of extra light on there. And this is actually running on a couple of rechargeable AA batteries. Now of course most battery chargers usually charge stuff in pairs so whereas this one has got a non rechargeable AAA in there um, this one has got you two uh, AA uh, rechargeables and also I've got I've got a little um, solar charger what charges two AA's so again depends what you're doing it what 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 you going to want to take with you. Um, this one um, has got a lanyard, uh, let me put some more light on the subject here. I <coughs> uh, don't know if you can see that's got a lanyard hole on the end there which is quite handy and also if you take that end off there's a spare bulb beneath the spring so you can kind of take the spring out, whip this spare bulb out so if your bulb does go um, and just actually it's just a comparison that remember that that one is incandescent not LED two AAs and this one a triple A running a LED so obviously this little one is actually brighter than this one <coughs> but again it depends what you want to do with it and obviously if you don't the LED ones you don't want to shine them towards the eye because they emit sort of harmful radiation that, whereas this one you know if you was perhaps doing a bit of first aid and you might be doing it somewhere near somebody's face this one will probably be a bit safer because it's ordinary bulb so it ain't gonna cause anyone any well as far as I know anyway <laughs> not unless they find something wrong with ordinary bulbs apart from global warming oh no don't get me started on that one <laughs> anyway so just a little review there um, so let me just turn that one off. That was, uh, as I say, that <coughs> that's a little um, cyber light um, and light star, and that's the that's this is your mini mag light with an ordinary bulb in there, two AAs, nice camo finish. So that's it, really. I hope it's useful because as I say time of year when you think oh could do with a bit of light somebody somebody turned the light out a bit early don't they <laughs> who did that then where the sun go oh yeah it's winter <laughs> cheers for now